All right, sorry about the quick pause, guys. My phone ran out of memory, so uh, I guess I can't really do videos in 4K anymore. So let's quickly try and get more of this done before I run out again. So more non-combats. All right, so from Kiev, we got these two units going one, two to Belarus. One, two, one, two. We've got these two units from Oral Curse going one, two into Slovakia. Um, we got these two infantry coming into Belarus. We have this jet going one, two to Slovakia. I'll probably have to army card that out too. Um, all right, that's, and then finally for the Air Forces. Okay, so real quick, I'm taking two tacticals and two jets to Romansk. I'm taking three strategic bombers and a tactical back to Karelia. And then I'm taking two fighter or two jets and two tacticals to this territory called Molotovsk. And then finally, my remaining strat will land back in Moscow. All right, so then we'll do the strategic rail because the Soviets do not have strategic naval movements. So we have these two guys in Moscow coming all the way to the Sudetenland. We have the two guys in Stalingrad coming all the way to the Sudetenland. And then that is it. All right, so that is all the Soviet moves. And so now we go into deployments. So we'll start with the Allies. So four infantry in, whoops, four infantry in Holland. Crap. Four infantry in Belgium. Five infantry in Paris. And then up in London. Six tanks. Six infantry. Two more transports will join the, the fleet down here. And then our air base will be deployed here in Munich. And we will hope to Christ that we do well. Okay, then for the Soviets, we have to do a little bit of reaching. Okay, so we have three mech at Kiev. We will have three infantry in the Caucasus. And then we will have two fighters in Moscow, followed by two, uh, three infantry in Smolensk and three mech in Leningrad. All right, so that is going to be it for turn one. Quite the board, and I was, and I did um, already kind of consolidate part of the massive army in the Sudetenland. We have the damage marker on the naval base and the damage markers over there on the fleet up here. All right, so then at the end of the turn, the Allies have 104 and 45. So the Allies will have 149 IPC to spend next turn. The Soviets will have 82 plus the two they saved. So the Soviets will have 84. All right, so that is it for turn one of Operation Red Inferno. And we'll see you guys again next time for turn two. So until then, guys, as always, take care.